would I would any of us have seen the written? It was in the final room, but you kind of collapsed then. Oh fuck! <laughs> Good. I'm glad we fucked everything. You mean you fucked everything? Oh well, yeah, that's right. The collective we. The you all could have stopped me. No, we couldn't. If you would have killed that thing sooner. Ben didn't transform it into a dragon. <laughs> it was already when well, I was at, it was like a drink, I guess. Yeah, as soon as I hit it with a fire, when I was turning into a dragon. So you had your turn for the day, fire? correct? Yes. Skull had yours, correct? What? For this day. You had your turn. Okay. And now you've had yours. When you're back at the tower, you're a bit distracted with the book. Go ahead and roll a perception. To see if you see what Mundy's been up to. Uh, that's a, that's a very long. As you uh, walked out of the door and into the the back area of the tower, you notice Mundy at his usual cooking area with the campfire set up and cooking. Uh, he's starting to run out of boar meat, but he, there seems to be a, a humanoid bird person sitting there with him, enjoying the meal. What? What color is it? Uh, their feathers are a light shade of brown. Get the fuck out. Did he let someone into the... Not into the tower, but they're outside the tower. They stopped on their way to town. I like the people. Hey, Monday, who's that? Oh, hey. Um, oh, hey. This is... Oh, hey, guys. <laughs> I've got a cat button. This is Clara. Good. Hello, hello. Oh no. What, uh. I mean, I've never seen uh, this manner of individual. Um, ooh, and, uh, what is your name? My name's Clara. Clara. They hate this character already! <laughs> I, I, I haven't seen your, uh, your manner of being around here. What, uh, what, does, what do they call your kind? I am Eric Harper. What's wrong? Yeah, you were. I say you were. Well, in the right area, just the wrong bird. Yeah. Please, please, Michi, what brings you to these uh, foreign mines? I am a messenger. A message. A message. What's your message meant for? For the guards. Guards. I see. Is it a message of danger or is it news? Wanted criminal. Criminal. Is it the one we found? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's me. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> what's, what's this criminal's name? Now we get into the backstory part. Uh-oh. When you were in your previous hometown, what name and clothes were you wearing? Because if it hasn't changed... Well, I would have I would have changed my... Uh, probably changed my clothes, probably at least a different kind of color scheme to be a little more subtle, but uh, he still wouldn't be wearing the full covering. Uh... But no, uh, whenever I was in town, I my went by my my fake last uh, name, or well, not my fake last name, but like my mother's last name, which was Leon, to give me more of an elf thing. And outside of here, anyone I've given my last name to, which I haven't, I was going to go by Logosh. Okay. So, now what did you say the name was you handed out in that town? Uh, Rotoros Leon. Leon? Leon. L-I-A-D-O-N. As this uh, bird reaches into his, her pouch, she pulls out a set of papers and holds up one of them, showing the face of the uh, masked Colosseum fighter. Mm-hmm. And next, and on the other side, it shows a rough sketching of a crude drawing of like orc tusks, elf's ears, and as like there wasn't a lot of detail seen of the incident. Reported killing a guard. A guard. Huh. How long... How long ago was this? A few months. Months spreading word. And you can see at the bottom of the page it says, Current reward 1,000 gold. I turned the shit out of you in. <laughs> Am I there? And, uh, what, what, no, no, you're still at Marvin's at the what, moment. Uh, what town would you say was You would basically be on your way. I asked him to take it. I forgot to write it down. I don't know my phone. T Y V E R A. Tybra. Tybra. I see. Well, I have to keep an eye out. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Pretty sure it's because that was Monday. Good cook. Cook. He's been working very hard on it. 
Uh, I'll, I'll be seeing you around Bundy. Good to meet you. Uh, I forgot her name. Um, Cara. Cara. And I quickly but calmly walk inside. Brisk. Good day, good day. Brisk. brisk. <laughs> <laughs> and now, oh, uh, oh, at this oh, time, oh. Penrez, you are getting back home. Look past this bird person. Yeah, you can see a Mundi and a, a humanoid bird eating out in the yard. I'll walk over. <laughs> this is gonna go good. Depends if Mundi feels like being, or not Mundi, uh, Fenris feels like being a little shit or not. <laughs> you never know with him. Hey Fenris, how you doing? Uh, I'm alright. Who's, uh, the friend? I'm Clark. Clark. Uh... How are you? Good, good. What's going on? Food. Food. Is it good? Yes, yes. I'll sit down and eat with them. Alright. You have a meal. As I'm eating all kinds, like, so, uh... What brings you to these parts? Work. Work. What kind of work do you do? Send messages. Messages. Do you have a message for Iopo? Yes, yes. For the guards. What's it about? Criminal. Criminal. Is it that asshole Kadok? Who? Who? I'll take that as a no. Uh, who's the criminal? She shows you the flyer. And the first name is very familiar. Cesar Torres. <laughs> Cesar Torres. <laughs> uh, uh, Monday, have you seen this? Oh yeah. <laughs> Fucking Monday. I haven't seen him though. Monday, he's a champ. <laughs> I want to see if Monday's trying to lie or if he's being completely sincere in his obliviousness. <laughs> so did Monday look at the uh, the flyer? Yes. <laughs> he's like, he's just like, seen yeah, I haven't seen him. <laughs> like, what? Just like without missing a beat, Monday's being a champ. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know if he's being a champ on purpose or if he's just absolutely oblivious. <laughs> so I want to yeah, roll. I want to try to see this. Oh uh, no, he hasn't. He hasn't. Yeah, he really has <laughs> no. <laughs> Weird. That's the same name as my friend. I haven't seen uh, this guy though. Other people have the same name. Could be yes. anyone. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of people near time to her, I have the name of Taurus. I only know an elf, not this half orc bullshit. Uh, do I need to roll for this? I'm gonna say no. <laughs> is, is he just absolutely oblivious? Just say you're gonna keep an eye open. <laughs> That's up for interpretation, because it is a matter of how Adam actually wants to interact with the character. Yeah, that's true. Alright, I'll, uh... I'll finish my food pretty quick, and I'll just be like, well, okay, good luck with that, and <laughs> I'll go in the tower. Have a good night. I want to try to find her tours. <laughs> <laughs> Hiding my room. <laughs> Hiding on my bed. I knock on his door. <laughs> go away. <laughs> <laughs> go away. <laughs> Retorus, there's a bird person out there that's looking for someone. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. I entered the fucking tournament. Everyone's gonna see me. My flyer said you killed a guard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And? <laughs> what happened? Well, you see, there's this one guard who really, really didn't like me, and I don't really don't, to this day, I don't know why. I guess I can't ask him now, can I? <laughs> you're right about that one. But we got into an argument about something, and he pulled out my mask. And before I could think of what to do, he started to run. 
So I chased him down and stabbed him in the gut. <laughs> and then I ran. Oh, oh. He saw who what I was. And I knew he couldn't be trusted. But who who put the fire well, out for you? Um, probably the town guard. Because somebody probably saw me. Oh, stabbing him? Uh. It's hard, not hard to notice a man chasing down another man stabbing him. It's true. And you're a big man. Um, Says the tiny man. <laughs> so... It was a panic, I swear. Yeah, I believe that. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> What the fuck are we gonna do though? <laughs> like I know I need I need something else to cover my face. I changed the costume, but not that much. It's mostly just a different color. We have multiple masks. We do. But does it will it cover the fact that I'm half orc? No more well, because they're both like eye masks. Those two are. I also still technically have the original fox mask we <laughs> took off of that one guy. That one Although it might still have it. some face on it. That one sure. reveals the jaw, but it would cover up the ears. I say, do you think maybe Magic Marvin might have something? I mean, if you use, like, the bottom mask and the top mask, I, I, I don't know. I mean, Marvin also might have something. I can check next time I'm in town, but you might want to stay at the tower for a few days. Oh, you think? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, not all the time. I'll uh, I'll go to my room and I'll just lie awake, wondering <laughs> like, "Fuck, what are we gonna do?" So I know the perfect item for like this dilemma, but it'd be hard to convey what it is without knowing actually what it is in character. That's Dread Elm in the. As an Avatar's Guide to Everything. Wait, what, what am I looking at? Dreadhelm? Yeah. It's like a 50 gold piece. Uh, oh. Isn't that like a, a common item that like glows the eyes? Yeah, the something? eyes glow red and it's just a full face helmet. Hmm. Yeah, you probably have something like that. You wrote me being blessed. Mm-hmm. And the cat was letting me hold her paw. <laughs> so, yeah, letting me. <laughs> that was day 19. Before we go on to day 20, we gotta make this rule. See how many guards come after me? <laughs> Alright. We saw this asshole at this tower. Keep this guy. Keep this guy. Right. Now, weather. And now the weather. Hmm. Just another normal day. You're on day 20. <laughs> <laughs> on the agenda, skull. Couldn't get it, huh? You know okay. that your deep red rubies are. Should be in stock. I'm gonna go get my deeper ruby! Ah! As for everybody else, what are you doing? I'm about to be poor as fuck. Crying. <laughs> it's the last of my money, guys. Oh, well, I I need to go to Mystic Marvis. Okay, before you before you uh, go, I'm just gonna say this at Marvin's look for something that is full face, something that completely covers the head. It doesn't have to provide any protection or anything like that. Maybe something that might, you know. Obscure my face completely somehow. I'll see if he's got anything. Alright. Skull, you're closest to your target. You head into the shop? Yeah. The man is there? Yeah. What are you reaching for? Huh? I thought you were reaching for something. No. Nah. Means like, dramatic. Ah. Very, uh. What's the word? Not pun uh, so precise. Uh, you showed up at a, like, punctual. the second punctual. Punctual. You're a very punctual one. Nuts. Uh, I've got the rubies right here for you. And he uh, walks into the back, and uh, moments later he comes back out with your order. Four gems. I reach my hand into my pants and around. He still seems a bit uncomfortable when you're doing that. And I pull out the last 15. Oh, wait, was it 15? 25. You paid half of it. Oh, yeah, 25. Wait. Oh, yeah, it was it's 50 because you had to do a custom order. Nope. I'm poor as fuck now. Because I had, to, I, had to, uh, I had to pay part of it and all that. Yeah. Gems are now yours as long as you're able to pay for them. Yep. No, I, I literally have like four electric and I'm like, <laughs> where's my money? <laughs> you need some money? I'm literally poor. <laughs> you need to I, make I couldn't buy myself. Well, you I need to I sell need some of your toys. I do. 
Skull's the richest one. <clears throat> Not anymore. Well, I mean, I have stuff. I don't have gem. Or, uh... Skull has stuff. Don't have straight up money. <laughs> you have materials. I have materials. Exactly. Yeah, no, I literally have... So, it's two to electriums. Two electrium equals one gold. <laughs> yep. That money was fast. Tapped out. <laughs> well, will you be needing anything else? No. Then I wish you a good day. He does his nod politely. <laughs> All right. What are your guys' activities? You were going to Marvin next yeah. week, but what were you doing in the meantime? Crying deeply. All right. No feeling. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna have to try to learn that language. So at least you have a reason to be shut up for the next few days. Um, you have well, something productive to do while you're shut up for the next few days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Turned out to be more useful than you thought. <laughs> oh, and uh, before the two of you left the tower, you noticed that the uh, Eric Croker was still outside of Monday. Leave! <laughs> I rolled to I, see if she would leave, and she didn't. I sheepishly wave and then walk quickly. <laughs> uh, well, hold on. Is she in view of the door? She's, um... So, basically, since you had, like, this training arena set up on one side, I basically just said Monday was cooking on the other. So she, she's not mm-hmm. viewing the door at all. All right. She's to the side. I assume the... we're still using the door. I don't want to walk four hours. So all I'm saying is that we could just kill the messenger. <laughs> <laughs> Increase the need. Yes. <laughs> no one would see it. I mean, we don't know what Mundy's feeding this chick. She, yeah, he true. could be killing her. I mean, she brought. I mean, we could cook her. I mean, she's fur to be like eating yeah. poultry. Chicken. <laughs> it's like chicken. Human sized chicken. It's a lot of meat. Anyway. I mean, Saul literally would have no issues with it. He doesn't yeah. work. <laughs> I was like, you, I was, you probably. Yeah, once he, he, once yeah. he got worms. Yeah. Granted, eating other works is not the best thing, but they will do it. I imagine they probably taste pretty bad. Yeah. They eat the shit out of humans, though. Ugh. I think that's probably what your father subsisted on exclusively. Probably, yeah. <laughs> elves and uh, humans. Humans. I bet elves would probably taste better. Yeah, they'd probably be more lean, yeah, maybe, but there wouldn't be a lot of meat. True. Yeah, those humans got a little bit of fat on them. Kind of nice soft. It was nice long pig. Yes. I imagine dwarves are right real salty. Salty and tough. Yeah. I mean, they'd be good for jerky. Uh, did you know, you know, did you know uh, dwarf bread can actually be molded into a weapon? <laughs> They're bread. Because it's so... It's so rough. So hard. <laughs> so and, tough. Yeah. <laughs> Why is this not on That's bread. And I was reading that when I was looking up metal information. I was like, are you shitting me? There was actual actual one for a beard, too. Where they're, you can weave shit out of their beard because their beards are so strong. And I was like, you gotta be shitting me. Well, they're rocks and their teeth are like rock, aren't they? So you enter Marvis today and he greets you, assuming you're here for another day of training. Hello, sir. Hello, Fenris. How are you? Uh, I'm okay. Um, you before paid for we... your training and my item, by the way. What? You paid for your training and my item. By yeah, I don't know that I paid for your item. <laughs> um, and that was off the max price plus interest for days it wasn't in the shop. Ooh. So, before we get started today, I had an item that I was looking for. Ah, yes. What were you interested in? Um, I was looking for some sort of, like, mask or face covering... Do you have anything like that? Hmm. Yes, I do. Um, one of the cheaper things I have is an item called a Dread Helm. Hey! Because I was looking up other potential items and that's the cheapest thing. Okay. Right. And this week I... God damn, I'm going to fucking sale on this. Okay. Uh-oh. This week there's a sale! This I would week sell I pay it. you 10 gold. <laughs> <laughs> this week I'm selling it for 20 gold. Whenever you wear this, it just it, it covers the whole head and the, the jaw and it and the eyes glow red. Yes, it's quite a fearsome helmet. 
I think that might just work. Check 20 gold. Yes. I'll take it. All right, you make your your purchase, and you now have a dread helm. I bore. <laughs> you spent most of yours on gems. I did. And then I train real hard. All right. Worry free for my friend. So, uh, Skull, did you have any plans before training? I wanted to try to set these gems in the eyes of what dragons I have so far. Uh, so you gave one to Anna, so I think you have two left. Uh, I would set the. Uh, I did give one to Anna, didn't I? Did I give it to her? Yeah, as part of the uh, agreement for oh, the partnership. Right. Yeah, so I would only do it in the ones I have, so. Yeah, fuck hers. Well, hers was a prototype. It has the. Like, I have different sigils on these things. She has the original sigil one, so. Hers is more. actually. It's not necessarily worth more to. It will be 200 years from it now. It might be, though. Um, I have three dragons down. Do you remember what dragons I had? I think you had, had one red, black. one black. And you gave her black. You had the homunculus. That was your fourth thing. I have thing. three dragons down. I just, yeah, they get two blacks and one red. Was it? Yeah. I thought I had two reds and one black. <clears throat> no, it was... I thought you made a turquoise one with the Shut fucking up. paint I gave you. <laughs> it never got used, God. Yeah, because he's a fucking asshole. Uh, it'll be whatever, since we don't remember. Whichever combination of those two. Well, regardless, I'm pretty sure I have a red one and a black one, so... And you have a red, a black, and a homunculus. And uh, I thought, uh, did I ever finish that pit theme? You were like halfway through the blueprints on that. Oh, I thought I finished the blueprints. No. Oh, I thought I was already in the putting together stage. Oh well. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna set the ruby eyes into the red dragon. Okay. And the white eyes into the jade whites into the black one. All right. They will increase the base value of each by a hundred. And I would like the homunculus. You can have the clear red. Okay. Now, unless there was anything else you were wanting to do, we would get to the training part. So I guess, since you were first, go ahead and roll yours first. Oh, I got too excited. Uh, the intelligence? Mm-hmm. I have 17. Okay, you're doing pretty good so far. Um, I mean, it's going to take a long time, but... Oh, Finn is Still working on up to me. Ooh. Oh, I still have advantage too, right? Mm-hmm. For two more days after today. 19. And Skull for yours. Oh, can I just take my first roll? <laughs> what what was your first roll? <laughs> oh, it was a 16. <laughs> sure. Yay! Um, using the Tinker Tools Archive. Mm-hmm. Uh, 24. Plus Anna. Now she got a good one. Plus the Apprentice. Also did good. What's the base value of the Red Dragon? Uh, each toy base value was 100. It increased by 100 with the gems. Plus only yeah, the base value. But they could sell for more. Oh, they could sell for more. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but now that their base value is 200, they could sell for even more. Okay. Huh. Okay, so between your good roll, Anna's good roll, and the apprentice's good roll, the weapon is done. Done. Done being crafted? or Done completely. You meet all the points. Hell yeah! You were working at beyond three times rate because you were all rolling well. Especially when that princess got a nat 20. So that's your day. You roll your. So yeah, that brings us to the end of day. What was this? 20. And after the long hours and your day is coming to an end, you know the weapon is finally done. You have the burial blade. Burial blade? That's what it's called. That's right. Unless you choose to rename it. No, I have that. 
And you have one, two, three. God damn, you got that done in a week. <laughs> well, to be fair, we did have a shit ton of people working on it. <laughs> yeah, that that makes up for it. Okay. How much would the paint? Uh... I was just going off like each adjustment would increase the base by a hundred. I just need to know because I'm so, making my card for when I make the dragon. This is what I need for it. This is what my tools cost, and this is what it adds to the value. So, yeah, I was just going off the How much would the paint cost, though? Cost? Like, what I hadn't would, decided. Would 10 gold cover paint? You already have paint. Well, I know I already have paint, but I'm just, like I said, I'm, I'm making, if I needed more paint, I can uh, just throw that into Yeah, we could do 10 gold. Paint. 10 gold would work. You just offered 10 gold, and so I didn't. What if I offered 5 gold? <laughs> But we'll still cover the paint. I mean, I can't buy paint right paint now. How much paint are you buying? You have plenty of paint for the rest of the session. Okay. <laughs> what, uh, how far away is the tournament? You are now entering the 21st day. And, it's and you know the tournament time. starts on the 28th. Oh, so we only have like a week. Mm-hmm. But it's been very pro productive. So... 21st day, we gotta roll a few things. First, that's nothing. Second, for the weather. That's something. The, the, um, the air was cold on the night, and when you awaken to a mist surrounding the town. When we got back the previous night, was the bird still there? Or did that motherfucker finally go to town? She's still there. <laughs> Bitch! Um, I rolled a you... personality trait for her. Can you figure it out what it was yet? <laughs> she a bird brain? Uh, Very forget forgetful. That. That's why it's taking her so long to get here. <laughs> just keeps getting distracted. Up. Oh shit, I'm supposed to fucking go to the town, right? I better just get ready to wear my ears on. <laughs> that could happen. Life, our uh, um, yes, I rolled the weather. Now for the daily events. Okay. So, what are the day's plans? It is the 21st day. Uh, the weapon is done. You've made some great progress on that, and you still have advantage for the next two days. You've started with the journal. Ask, uh, ask, ask my old, my old buddy boy there. No, um, yes. Yes, Fenris came back that night. Wait. Did you, did you find anything? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna hold on to it. <laughs> no, I just fled out and forgot. Uh, yeah. I show him the Dread Homies look, and I explain to him, like, uh, so apparently this item is just, it's a full face covering, and whenever you wear it, your eyes glow red. So it's Seems kind of basic, but it'll. I thought it would do the job. Excellent. This will work perfectly. Thank you. How much do I owe you? Uh, ten gold. Hmm. I'll give you. I'll give you. Give you a hundred silver. Okay. No fucking money off your silver. <laughs> It's way harder to keep track of silver. You could have just gone to a freaking bank and got it converted if you wanted. I couldn't, I couldn't until I got those dread on. People are gonna... Well, actually, I guess I could. She never got to town! She never got to town. <laughs> I haven't come out of my house. Come out of the house I, did, I will mention to you, uh, that bird's still out there. I don't know what the hell's going on. I don't know if she's caught on to you, or if she's just really absent-minded. I mean, she still seems happy, but... I don't know. It worries me still. Oh, uh, you were asking for the price to make it, is that it? Yeah, it didn't cost a hundred to make it. Well, I figured, like, base value what it's adding, though. Uh, the body, I assume, material-wise, and having to get the material worked. Uh, the materials you needed was, like, 25 golds worth of metal. So, it's like five pounds of metal, of steel, at least. So, it... It didn't take that much to make it. I'm just gonna do an all-around cloth body work, though. Like, i put put uh, 25 to 100, depending on the material. Oh. Okay. Yes, you two are talking, sorry. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, I think it was about it, really. Um, 
Yeah, it, it doesn't say on there, but can you can like control whether or not the eyes glow red or not, or is it just constant? Um, it's when you wear it. Oh. <laughs> Slap that sucker on, try it out. Because yeah, right now it's not glowing at all. It's only when you wear the thing. I, I'll put it on. And as he dons this helmet, the uh, eyes start to glow red. Nice. How's it look? Looks awesome. I mean, try, I need to get one for myself, but uh, I don't know if it would fit with my horns. Uh, does it maybe uh, tell anything about my face? No. I mean, the eyes are really distracting from everything else, plus it covers everything, so. All right, this, this could work for a while. Ugh. And that happened the night before, and then you all woke up. It's very misty outside. No, I don't trust that. So, what are today's agenda? Are you doing anything special? Um, no, I'm going to try to train more. Can I take a look at this locket I got from the cave? Oh, the treasure. Yeah, you can look at that. Is there anybody, like, who's, who's on the inside of the locket? It's for Taurus. Ah! And really pick any if, details for that. Follows. <laughs> <laughs> he follows me even now. She mm. loves them strawberries. There is a the the face of a female woman in the locket. As to I was gonna say a male woman, a uh, female, uh, just human. 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 Okay. Uh, is there any names subscribed anywhere in it? No. Yes, human man. <laughs> uh, is there any way to take the picture out and see the back of the picture? Yeah, I guess you can do that, but I guess I can roll to see if there's a name, but sure. Do, do, do. Uh, what, anyone else doing anything special today? That alchemy. Well, I figured that. Taurus, anything else you plan to do? Or are you just going to read, try and the language again? Uh, I'll go to the shed and say it'd be awfully convenient if there were some blacksmithing supplies here. Go ahead and roll your chip. That's a 18. When you open the door, you can see a room filled with smithing tools, a workbench, a, a crude looking anvil, and a few sheets of metal. Oh, I forgot to do something. As for the name on the back of the locket, Oluchi. Oluchi? Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna remember that. Maybe because I don't know how to spell it. O L U C H I. O O L L. O L U C H I. Oluchi. Okay. Uh but anyways, uh there's something I did want to do in the time that I was processing this other crap and working on this weapon. Mm -hmm. I would have brought up to Anna my idea for a medal. Okay, but yes, you open the door and you see the smithing, a crude looking smith shop. It even has like a fireplace, but it's currently not active. Uh, I survived the tools, or is there anything that I don't have in that? Uh, as you said? The tools you bought are in far better quality than the ones here. I see. I say, I look at the anvil. So it looked like it's made up bad material or just poorly cast? It's made of steel, it's just in poor quality. But it's functional. Is it attached to the floor or is it on like a little stand? No. Are you trying to move it out? Yeah, I'm gonna see. Then you can try to move it out. Alright. That's probably gonna get Monday to help me. Alright, then roll just a strength with advantage. <laughs> That's uh, 16. It's a bit heavy, but with the two of you, you easily push it out of the room. All right, I'll move it to uh, probably kind of in between the cool. combat area and the uh, Monday's cooking area. We're sure going to get back to this tower and be like, what the fuck did you guys do to my tower? <laughs> so he'll probably just, he'll probably just snap yeah. his fingers and it'll all just go back the way it was. All right, so you now have the anvil outside the tower. Yep. Skull, what were you doing? Oh, right, you were mentioning your plans to Anna about the ore. 
She says um, she has the mithril on her, and as for the other materials, she wouldn't have. And she knows exactly where you can fucking find adamant. <laughs> you know the rarest fucking material. God damn, nap twenty. Just go, just go to those dwarves over there. They have tons of it. They have tons of it. You can either seek out a dwarf or try and mine it from a volcano yourself. Has a uh, has a uh, skull ever seen a volcano? You <laughs> lived in the swamp. Could be a volcano swamp. You never know. I doubt it. Though. Yeah, it's not likely. <laughs> was it a peat? Was it a peat bog or was it just a like a Everglades kind of swamp? I assume it was. It was like kind of between a. The marshland uh, Skull spent time in was like between an actual deep swamp that he never went into and this dying forest on the other side. Slowly kind of being taken over by the swamp. Yeah. Speaking of which, um, your bird and the other bird haven't been getting along too well. They kind of perch in different areas on the tower. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. My bird. What did my bird say about the other bird? Smells of swamp gas. Swamp gas. Swamp gas? Yes. But yes, if nothing else, then you can all make your checks for the day. I don't think I had anything special. And the event I rolled would happen at the tower, but not yet. So, who wants to go first? I guess for today, I'll continue working with the uh, journal since he does have a time frame he wants to back in. Jesus, how'd you manage that? I don't know. I got the fumbles again. The fumbles? That's uh, a 17. Or no, 15. 15 then. Alright, yeah. Um, you're technically moving at double speed, but it's just it's a long process to learn. How about Finrez? How's your training doing? I think you have an advantage <laughs> today and tomorrow. He rolled a three and then a two. Wow. You lost progress. Oh. As always tomorrow, you still have one more day of advantage. Skull. You were wanting to know about this. So what is your issue? So, Animant time. It's Animant, five to eight percent, or five, five eighths. Uh, I believe it's one uh, percent electrium, and like two percent uh, silver or something like that, or some ratio like that. Yeah. Um, and animantine's AC is twenty three. Those other metals are added in there to actually make adamantine more manageable. So they're actually weakening the metal. So they're using these weakened, uh, basically lower strength metals to make adamant more manageable. So the version I wanted to create would take the special abilities of these other metals and without taking away as much strength. So like it would still be There's weakening it. Why I put the strong attribute on it. Yes. So it would be weakening it, but it would also be adding more abilities to it. Okay. The problem where that runs into is animantine is already extraordinarily hard to make. And I would basically be making a stronger version of it. Yeah, which is why I put the half damage from anything damaging. Yeah. I don't know, like, how attributes work. That's why I'm telling you so, like, I'm not understanding, so please explain it to me. <laughs> so, what, you're wanting the AC to be higher? Yes. AC basically represents the ability to hit the metal. So, when so to basically be able to strike it. Yes. And in this case, when, like, making a weapon... You're trying to strike so because, the weapon. Because it would be heavier. Like, uh, Mithril would lighten it up a little bit. Yeah, but... that's why the, I put the weight 1.5 times. Okay. So it's still heavier, but not as heavy as it would be without the Mithril. Okay. Because without the Mithril, it would be three times heavier. So still, it's still going to be extremely heavy, so that would make the AC go down. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. Mm-hmm. Fight over. <laughs> but I would run this by uh, Astriana and uh, basically get her thoughts on it and how I'd be able to come across this. I would tell her I have a uh, ingot of 
platinum and a ingot of mithril. Okay. But that's all I got. She thinks that uh, if you were to get all the ingredients together, it would take several weeks to process the metal, especially since it's something she's never seen before. And also, I'd like to skew these. She's never seen before. Yes. <laughs> you finally you rolled low enough? <laughs> I didn't roll on that 20, yes. <laughs> so I was also thinking about skewing it slightly towards these other metals so they have that uh, magical trait and use less adamantine. You know what I'm saying? That's why it would be heavier, too. Because I was going to use... Uh, I think the measurements we went with in the end was... We were using... It was like Pound five, inch. three, two. We were going by pound. But I, w- I was going to just do percentile or percent of the in- like in the ingot. So some of some materials will be lost in the end whenever you're mixing things, just from impurities being burned out, uh, especially when you're mixing metals. So I didn't know uh, if I could just do a slightly skewed version of this one eighth bullshit, and we can go by hey pounds is how we're doing it, but the end result is going to be the eighth. That's kind of how I was just doing it anyway. Was but. Yeah. 10 pounds in, you get 10 pounds out. Yeah. But you are losing metal, but not really. Yeah. And, well, I mean, it's it's one of those things where it's impurity, so you're not really losing metal, but you're losing metal. Yeah. But aside from pitching your new idea, did you have an activity plan for the day? Um, I would like to mm-hmm. practice using this new scythe. All right, you're going to spend some time attuning to the weapon. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, that way you can learn how to use it. <laughs> oh. Attunement technically doesn't have a roll to it. I just wanted to see what happened. Oh, you're a jerk. <laughs> yeah, d- <laughs> attunement just requires time. Okay. <laughs> well, I... After two hours, you are attuned to the weapon. I was going to say, because I didn't do good at all. <laughs> I was going to say, he's like, uh, did I chop off any of my fingers on accident? Yeah. From what you know of what you made with the axe, uh, the axe is 100% a strength-based weapon, but this new scythe can be used at either strength or dex. Ooh. And I did give you the stats, but I don't know if you wrote those down at all. I did not write them down. But I will pull them up for if you might need to be mentioned. I'm going to be showcasing it, so I throw what I need to know on there. Okay. So now for the event <laughs> I rolled today. Who's at the tower? Yeah. You are. All right. Ugh. Pardon me. Someone is walking by the tower. Leave. I'm gonna have to teach Mundy the the power of stranger danger. <laughs> Mundy's just gonna invite everybody. Yes. What happened to us keeping this a secret? It's not like the bird's ever been in the place. They just walked by the tower, Mundy off her food, and you know, with the personality trait, it forgot to leave. So I was just going to go out there and just try to trek it and just go home. Just tell them they already did the task they were supposed to do. But you see, that's a deception roll. I have negative one to deception. So, today you see a four foot nine. Elf, half elf, walking by. The first one, half elf. Possible. The smallest one you take a note of. Now this person's wearing uh, some medium armor with a a long sword to their side. Is it a long sword or do they have different stats? Eh. No, they have a rapier. Oh, I actually rolled this character. Okay, I actually did. He's got a rapier and a whip to his <laughs> side. And there's a positive stride and a step as he's walking by the tower. Yay! And he, uh, you see him at one point, he's, he waves towards Mundy in the air croaker as he's continuing his way towards town. I'm not feeling his friendly right now. You're not feeling what? I'm not feeling his friendly the world before. But I believe everyone made their checks for the day. It's still very foggy out, but. Actually, everyone make a perception because at some point in the day you might have seen something else because of the weather. Holy shit! I think I made a perception. 19. Holy shit! Dirty 20. 21. Wait, no, never mind. 19. Aren't you at the 
Are those my days? This could have happened at any point in the day. I was practicing with a weapon, thank you. No. Oh. Where's Fess the weapon? You. Where are the stats of that woman? Don't worry about it. I'm worried. Don't worry about it. Uh, let me just say, uh, I had you in mind when picking out some of the abilities. See, sounds good. So, at one point of the day, all three, I think all three of you have.